and just taking care of your goddamn self. Mm-hmm. That's I think that's what the biggest the biggest issue is. I, people just don't take care of themselves. Okay, make sure you eat the right shit. I make sure that I get a lot of personal time for myself, and where I just focus on myself, do something that you know Gary wants to do. Yeah, and by you doing that, you're consciously choosing experiences that are going to be more to your liking. Mm -hmm. You know, you're literally crafting your own experience in this game, and it's not that hard to like at least try to do that, yep. you know, to at least start going in that direction. Cause it's like, there's no point in doing the things that you don't want to do. Mm-hmm. I've never, I, I guess I've never understood it. Like I, I get it in the sense that I understand that circumstances make it maybe difficult to see that side. I totally get that. It takes work, but I don't know. I guess it, it's hard for me to understand spending all my time doing something I don't want to yeah. do. I don't know. It, what's I, the point? <laughs> I I can't I can't see this shit at all. Yeah, like if I'm a if it's something I really want to do, I'm gonna work and do what I got to do to get to where I got to go and do that. Yeah, and and that doesn't mean that you don't like sometimes take a lesser position or or do something else in the meantime. Like mm-hmm. be smart about it, yep. <laughs> right? I know how to maneuver. But don't man. settle. Yeah. But don't settle. You know, be be always be looking for that next step and like. And I think that's what the set. I think that's what the issue I, I see with a lot of people they just I see a lot of people just get comfortable mm-hmm. and get relaxed and if you if you don't have if you don't keep setting goals for yourself if you don't keep trying to push yourself then that's just where you're going to be at and I think pushing yourself is is one of the most important things that you have to do for yourself as a habit because then it allows you when you reach those like difficult times to be able to push but faster. you can't push yourself if you don't take care of yourself if you ain't it's true if You'll you ain't out. mentally there you ain't gonna have that push or that drive mm-hmm. and i like like because i got i got i got friends like that and i talk to them all the time and they be like well why how you do this so well, i'm like man like you just gotta you just gotta take them lumps man you gotta take them l's and you just gotta keep going man like no matter how bad it get, man. Just don't give up. And 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 having goals is a way that make you not give up. Mm-hmm. You know how good it feels when you accomplish something. Totally. You feel amazing. It make you feel good about yourself. Totally. You wanna you wanna keep having that feeling. So now you are gonna set goals to do something else because you wanna feel that again. And and that's basically how how you should go throughout life. I agree. You have to have that north star. You gotta have something that you're I, I feel towards. like if you, I feel like you would have a very longer life if you always had something that you want to keep striving to. Mm-hmm. Like I can see myself when I get older. Like man, I want to be a better grandfather. I want to, you know, what I'm saying I want to travel more. I want to do this. It something just a goal. Having having that's something that I want to push and strive and go to. Like I'm, I want to do that shit just to be like I did that shit. Yeah, yeah. No, I got a whole whole list of those things that I've written in a note (laughs) where I'm like, I want to do these things before I die. And you know, we'll see, we'll see how many of them I'm able to pull off. Yeah. Pull all of them off, man. Yeah. I'm going to try. Assuming I I mean, but then then if you pull all of them off, you're going to probably die, but (laughs) (laughs) yeah, I might die on the most dangerous one. (laughs) Yeah. No, there's a lot of places I want to, I want to visit around the world. I definitely want to travel and experience different cultures. I love other languages. Like, I, it's just, it, I don't know. I think people are really cool. <laughs> I kind of want to travel, like, overseas and stuff. I got, I just want to wait and see how to, how to global, like, just climate oh, yeah. oh, changes yeah. <laughs> before yeah. I'd, like, do any traveling. So it's going to be totally. a while before I leave America. Yeah, it is dependent upon our planet being in a good condition. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. people would be like, man, I'm going to go over here to Europe. I'm like, well, you know what? I'm not going because I heard some things and, I've seen a lot of movies, man. Movies of like abuse. That's that's like that was child abuse. I was abused as a child with just movies, man. Yeah. And I just saw so much shit, man. Which which movies man. abused you? Hostile, man. I was like, you Ooh. know what? That made me Ooh. not want to go. I know? never even watched that movie because I just didn't want to see it. I was yeah, like, I don't want to see that shit, man. That shit traumatized me. I was like, you know what? People were like, I'm finna go over there to Praka, some little small Czechoslovakia or something. I'd be like, what? 
I ain't never heard of that shit. So I'm like, I seen that movie Hostel. I don't want to go. Nope. I don't mm. want to get. I don't want to get chopped up. Yeah, it ruined you. And yeah, and then man, it's rough on black people too. So it's you just gotta, like, man, I'm gonna just chill out for a minute and wait and see. I'm yeah. Wait and see.